All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Solving Backwards using Normal Distribution Part 2. In this video, I'm going to actually solve a problem where I'm given the probability or the quantity of data under the curve, and I need to solve for the unknown value of x. Just remember that we are going to use the magic formula of x equals mu, the mean plus, z-score times the value of the standard deviation. We're using this normal distribution that has 50% of the data on the right-hand side of the mean, 50% of the data on the lower half of the mean. So this is the question that we're given. Wanda's widgets makes high-quality dog widgets for distribution worldwide. A recent salary survey indicated the average worker at Wanda's earns $1,000 per week with a standard deviation of $100. She wants to give her workers a bonus, but only wants to reward the top 15% of her employees. What is the minimum amount they can make and still be eligible for this reward? So we're going to follow this four-step process. Determine the value that we're solving for. Calculate an area under the curve. We're going to look up a z-score associated with that area using the guts or the inside of the table, and then we're going to apply the magic formula. So this is what this problem looks like if I transform it into a normal curve. Basically, it is solving for the upper 15%. She only wants to reward her top 15% of employees. And so what I need to know is what is the minimum amount they can make. So I'm looking for the value that separates the top 15% of the data under the curve from the remainder of the curve. So we're going to apply what we know about normal distribution. And that is if 15% falls in this upper tail, then I know that 35%.3500 is going to solve or fall between this unknown value of x and the mean of the distribution. And I got that by taking 0.5, which was the area to the right of the curve, minus the point. 1500 or the 15 percent gave me 0 0.3500. In the problem, I was given the value of the mean as a thousand dollars, and I was given the value, the standard deviation, as a hundred dollars. So now what I can do is take this 0.35. Zero, zero. Because I'm inside the curve, I'm going inside the normal distribution table, which magically is going to be right down here. So I'm going to look for 0 .3500 inside the guts of the table. So I'm looking around, and the closest I can get is 0 .3508. That's only 0 .0008 away. This one is 0 .31 away. So I'm going to use a z-score of 1.4. So now I know that I have a z-score of 1.04 associated with 35 or roughly 35% of the data in the nor underneath the normal curve. So let's take this z that we have located and plug it into the magic formula and see how we can solve. Alright, so here we are back at magic formula and remember we said that we knew that the mean of the distribution was equal to a thousand dollars. We were given the standard deviation equal to $100, and now I know what the z value is. I know that the z is equal to 
So plugging up into this magic formula lets me know that the unknown value of x that represents the top 15% of the data is equal to 1,000 plus 1.04 times the value of the standard deviation of 100. So I know that x is equal to 1,000 plus $104, which gives me a value of x of $1,104. So what this, when I come back up here, sorry, small problem, what I've done is I know that x is now equal to $1,104. So I know now that the top 15% of the employees make $1,104 or more and everybody else makes less by simply saying that I know that any value of X is located from the mean a given number of standard deviations as expressed by Z. So can we have a round of applause for the magic formula? See you guys in the next video.